Bonjour les élèves, bonjour, comment ça va? J'espère que ça va très bien. Aujourd'hui, je vais vous présenter certaines phrases en français. Today, I'm going to form sentences for you, or to show you how to form sentences with prepositions. In our previous lesson, we had a look at some prepositions in French. We have dans, sur, à côté de, près de, loin de, à, en, au, plus de prépositions. Now, today, let's pay attention and watch how we can form sentences with those prepositions. To do that, and for you to have a clear look at how it is, I am going to display some pictures to you so that you have proper understanding of the prepositions. This is a table here. You have a table on your screen and also in your book. Can you pick up your book? Go to page 81, page 81 of French Literacy and Numeracy Scales, KB2. This is the book we are using for the tutorial. If you don't have a copy, do not worry. Just call 0243-239497. Parents should call 0243-239497. If you call the number, we'll get you a copy. Parents, do not hesitate to call or visit www www.whatischoolofflanguages.com and you can go to the bookstore and get your copy there. Let's come to today's activity. As I told you, let me display the pictures. This is the first picture with a sentence against it. And the sentence says, Kofi a elephant. Kofi est éléphant. Kofi est éléphant. Kofi est éléphant. When you look at the picture display here, you can see that we have an elephant in the picture and someone is seated on the elephant. So the position of Kofi compared to the elephant that's what we are talking about here. There's a word to express or to show. In English, we say Kofi is on the elephant. It's same in French, but you will not use the same word if you have to translate in French, que dirais-tu? What will you say? We shall see. Let's go to the next picture. Le chat, le chat est la table. Le chat est la table. Le chat est la table. The cat is table. The cat is table. Look at the position of the cat compared to that of the table. What can you say? Where is the cat? The cat is under the table. That's right. Yes, you got it right. The cat is under the table. So how would you say under in French? Remember we had it, we learned it in our previous lesson. Let's quickly go to the next one. Le poisson est la boîte. Le poisson est la boîte. The fish is in the tin. The fish is in the tin. Le poisson est la boîte. We have fish, we have tin or basket. You can see clearly that the fish, the position of the fish is in, inside the tin or the box or the basket. Have you seen that? So there's a word in French 
to express it. Or there's a way of saying it in French for people to identify the position of the fish compared to that of the uh, item, whether basket or bowl. So we are going to have a look at those prepositions. Already we have studied them. And now we are forming sentences as at how to be able to speak French. Remember, I've always told you that in our lessons, when we bring you a lesson, we have to practice. And in the practice of the lesson, you'll be able to deliver. That's why we train, we don't teach. We train in French, we don't teach in French. So that you can go out there, speak the language fluently and freely. Now let's quickly go to the activity. The number one, looking at the position of Kofi compared to that of the uh, elephant, you say Kofi is on top or on the elephant. So French will say Kofi est sur l'éléphant. Kofi est sur l'éléphant. Have you seen that? Kofi est sur l'éléphant. Can you read? Kofi est sur l'éléphant. Again, Kofi est sur l'éléphant. One more time. Kofi est sur l'éléphant. Number two, numéro deux. Le chat est la table. Le chat est la table. Here we are talking about cats and table. So where is the cat compared to the table? The cat is under the table. Le chat est la table. So under means sous. You see? Le chat est sous la table. Le chat est sous la table. Le chat est sous la table. Again, le chat est sous la table. Let's go to the number three. Le poisson is the fish. The fish is in the tin, in the basket, in the... So here the position of the fish is what we are looking at. So we say, le poisson est dans la boîte. Le poisson est dans la boîte. Le poisson est dans la boîte. Can you repeat? Le poisson est dans la boîte. Again, le poisson est dans la boîte. All right. I hope you have written it. If you have not written, just one minute, 30 seconds to copy this forward because it is already in your book on page 81. Page 81. So quickly write so that you can continue with the activity. Be reminded that your tutor is Mr. Watts Feeding Adams, Director Watt East School of Languages. And this program is proudly powered by Dr. Clement Upper, Department of Linguistics, University of Ghana, supported by Mrs. Wendy Dionste Bastin, Deputy Director General, Dionste International School. At what is School of Languages, we also train in uh, English, Spanish, German, and Chinese, not only French that we do. So for your um, interest in any of the five languages, just call on us or write to what is school of language, info at what is school of languages.com. Or you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, what is school of languages and click on the bell for more notification and more videos. All right. So now that we are done writing, let's quickly read the sentences. Kofi est sur l'éléphant. Kofi est sur l'éléphant. Can you repeat? Kofi est sur l'éléphant. Le chat est sous la table. Le chat est sous la table. Le poisson est dans la boîte. Le poisson est dans la boîte. One more time. Kofi est sur l'éléphant. 
Kofi est sur l'éléphant. Le chat est sous la table. Le chat est sous la table. Le poisson est dans la boîte. Le poisson est dans la boîte. Now let's quickly go to the second activity. To the second activity. Remember to color the images because the activity say that you should also color the images. So do not forget when we are done, pick up your crayons and color the, uh, the images. This is another table. Here, we are going to display images again. Uh -huh. Yes. Have you seen them? Okay. I know you understand the concept. You understand what it is. Do you understand? Do you? All right. Since you do understand, I will also explain further. It is like the previous one that we did. We are comparing position of two things. One compared to another. Here we are comparing the ball and the tin. Is the ball we are talking about. And in the second picture, we are comparing the cat and mushroom. You see there is a mushroom. And when you look at the position of the cat, we are also comparing the third one, the web. The web in the cup web. We compare the two. So let's quickly go and explain. When you look at the first picture, the first image, you see a ball, you see another thing. So compare the ball to the thing, that's what, uh, the thing to the ball, that's what we are comparing here. You can see that the ball is a côté de, a côté de, is near. They're not close. It's near. They're not close. Close means there's no space. The near, there be a small space. And au loin, far, more spaces. All right. Let's go and have a look at the preposition. L'objet est à côté de la balle. L'objet est à côté de la balle. The object is near the ball. The object is near the ball. L'objet est à côté de la balle. L'objet est à côté de la balle. L'objet est à côté de la balle. Le chat est le champignon. Can you say? Le champignon. Le champignon. Le champignon is mushroom. Champignon is mushroom. It's not champignon, but rather champignon. So we say, le chat est sur le champignon. Le chat est sur le champignon. Le chat est sur le champignon. Let's repeat together. Le chat est sur le champignon. Le chat est sur le champignon. Let's go to the third one. L'araignée. Araignée is the, 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 the cop. Spider. Spider, sorry. Araignée is spider. And cobweb is poil. Poil. So, araignée is spider. You can see clearly the spider where it's being positioned compared to the cobweb. So they are saying, l'araignée est dans la toile. L'araignée est dans la toile. L'araignée est dans la toile. The spider is in the cobweb. The spider is in the cobweb. L'araignée est dans la toile. L'araignée est dans la toile. L'araignée est dans la toile. Let's read the sentences again. L'objet est à côté de la balle. L'objet est à côté de la balle. Le chat est sur le champignon. 
Le chat est sur le champignon. L'araignée est dans la toile. L'araignée est dans la toile. L'araignée est dans la toile. Now write the sentences. Put the sentences are already in your book. Just put in the prepositions. L'objet est à côté de la balle. Le chat est sur le champignon. L'araignée est dans la toile. L'objet est à côté de la balle. Le chat est sur le champignon. L'araignée est dans la toile. Très bien. I hope you understand. If you do not understand, I've told you that this platform is a forum. Is a forum. Parents, when you go down the uh, video, you can see there is a space. You can ask questions on your children's behalf. Teachers can do same as well. Because what is school of languages? We don't just bring you the product. We do the follow up. We take you along. So please, do you have anything bothering your mind? Just to ask your question for us to address it. Thank you very much. Uh, I entreat you to watch our YouTube channel, What is School of Languages? What is School of Languages? And also subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That's very important. When you subscribe, click on bell and get notification. Okay? Merci. Please, the next lesson, do not forget. In the previous ones, we talked to you the days of the week. That's the calendar part one, the days of the week. But in the next lesson, we'll bring you the second part of the calendar, which is the month of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June. That's what you say in English. In French, you're going to learn say. Les mois de la naissance. Les mois de la naissance. Hold on. Until then, goodbye. Au revoir. À la prochaine.